Good day, Mr. Ng. Today I'll be presenting on a really prestigious local company known as Semcorp Industries. I will be providing a fundamental analysis for Semcorp Industries. This will actually include financial stability ratios, performance indicators, as well as valuation ratios. I will also be talking about the main product and services that Semcorp Industries offers, as well as a SWOT analysis on its nearest competitor, which is also a local company known as Capital Corp. Next, I'll be talking about Semcorp Industries and its company facts. Semcorp Industries was uh, actually started in 1998 with a current market capitalization of 9.8 billion as at the end of December 2013 last year. Semcorp Industries actually provides utilities and integrated services for industrial sites such as power, gas, steam, water, wastewater treatment and other on-site services. The company's businesses also include in marine and offshore engineering and urban development comprising of industrial parks and business, commercial and residential spaces. Samcorp has a total of 17,401 employees with the 2013 turnover of 10.8 billion and net profit of 820.4 billion. Samcorp is actually Singapore's first commercial importer and retailer of natural gas. Samcorp is also a trusted global water service provider and Singapore's largest water management company with water and wastewater operations across five other continents. Uh, Samcorp is actually a vital company with meeting the water needs of communities, the governments and industries. Samcorp is an industrial conglomerate company and it actually comprises of three main factors. These would be the Samcorp Utilities, Samcorp Marines and Samcorp Urban Development. From my research, Samcorp and Keppel Corp are the only two local companies that are actually individually an industrial conglomerate company. There are actually a few disparities between Samcorp and Capital Corp. For one, Samcorp actually focuses um, water treatment, energy renewal, whereas Capital is more on ship repairing, which Samcorp also offers. So therefore, Samcorp is actually one of the leading local companies in terms of renewal energy and water treatment, as so far it is the pioneer of that factor. And that is the advantage of Samcorp. One of the key factors sought after when considering a company under the fundamental analysis is actually the financial stability ratio. For the first one, we'll actually be talking about the debt equity ratio. These ratios are actually useful to check inherent financial strength of, com of a company and its cash flow patterns. So as for Semcorp, um, under Bloomberg Research you can actually see that the debt equity ratio for three consecutive years, for the end December 2011, it was at 0 0.4. It will be the same for the year after and for end December 2013, 0 0.3. The debt equity ratio actually provides leverage for the situation of the company in the sense that it compares the company's total liabilities to a total shareholder equity. Broadly speaking, it should not be much higher than 2 or 3. So therefore, it is stable in the sense that the leverage of the company is um, met with the debt equity ratio. Moving on to the next two and final two financial stability ratios. Firstly, there will be the interest coverage ratio, where it's the earnings before interest and tax divided by the interest itself. This ratio actually indicates how easily a company can pay its interest on its outstanding debts. 
and the warning signs are usually triggered when the ratio becomes less than 2. For this case, Semcorp Industries has attained for 2011 17.1, for 2012 8.8, and for 2013 9.3. Even though it has been steadily declining, it is still way above the ratio of 2, so therefore it is actually in pretty good hands. Moving on to the last ratio, which is the current ratio. The current ratio is actually something really simple, where it's um, the total current assets divided by the total current liabilities. This ratio actually indicates the company's liquidity condition in terms of paying short-term liabilities from its short-term assets. So for the current ratio, for 2011, it is at 1.4, for 2012, it's at 1.2, and for 2013, it is 1.2 as well. Even though it has been steadily declining, it is still maintaining at 1.2 currently, so it's quite worrying because <coughs> the warning signs are actually triggered when this ratio becomes less than 1, and caution has to be taken into measure if the ratio is actually less than 1.5. So this is actually one financial ratio that is not doing well compared to the other two and actually it sort of determines the financial stability of SEMCORP ratios rather not as balanced as it could be. And next I'll be moving on to the performance indicators which are ratios actually useful to check performance of the company. Firstly, it is the operating margin and the gross margin. The operating margin indicates the earnings before the depreciation, interest and taxes. This ratio actually indicates the net profitability of the operation of the business. For, 12, for December 2011, it is at 12.4, the year after it's at 11.2, and 12, and for 2013 it's 10.5. It is actually steadily declining each year, but it's still somewhat sustaining around the two digits. Next is actually the gross margin. It is actually the same as the operating margin, except that it gets rid of the interest. So... It, it, like the operating margin is also steadily declining each year and the gross margin actually indicates the gross pro profitability of the company which is after they paid their interest so seeing how it is like the performance it is declining but it is not such a severe decline so therefore it is still profitable in a sense Moving on to the next two performance indicators, I'll be inferring from the return on asset as well as the return on equity. For the return on asset, uh, the ratio has been steadily declining at 7.1 uh, 2011, 6.1 in 2012, and 6.2 in 2013. This ratio actually indicates how profitable the company is relative to its assets and ability of management in generating profits from the assets itself. As for the return on equity, it has also been steadily declining. At 2011, it was at 20.4, in 2012, 17.5, and in 2013, 17.2. This, this ratio actually provides the percentage return on the shareholders' equity. And even though it's steadily declining, it is still somewhat there. It's not an, it's a severe decline, so market prediction could be an increase. Moving on to the final criteria for the fundamental analysis, it is the, the valuation ratios. For the valua valuation ratios, there are actually two that I will be using, which is the PE ratio and the dividend yield. Value, valuation ratios are actually related to the current market price, so therefore they are quite volatile. And it is said that profits are made when you buy 
and not when you sell so in that is actually the regard for the key factor of valuation ratios so for the P/E ratio in 2011 it is at 8.9 times 2012 12.4 times and in 2013 it's 12 times it is actually steadily increasing since 2011 and in general uh, the stocks with the higher forecast earnings growth will actually have the higher PE so therefore Samco is actually predicted to have a better earnings growth since it is coming higher instead of lower so therefore the PE ratio is there under good consideration moving on to the dividend yield the dividend yield purely indicates the dividend return in percentage terms of the total investments so in 2011 it was at 4.2% in 2012 2.9% and in 2013 2.7% so the dividend return is actually <coughs> decreasing so therefore though not by not much so therefore it's actually still a good forecast reading over there and that's it for the valuation ratio looking at the Bloomberg graph analysis of the ratings of Semcorp Industries despite the prices either going up or down it is actually generally pretty favorable for people to invest in Semcorp Industries since August 2013 to June 2014, the prices have actually been ranging to more than half of people actually wanting to or even recommend to actually buy Samcorp industry stock. So I think this is actually a pretty good investment. Conclu conclusively, I actually feel that it is worth investing in Samcorp Industries as so far their strengths do outweigh the weaknesses. Despite a few ratios not meeting or steadily declining, as a whole I reckon 80% is actually very very suitable for a healthy financial company right here. A company that is healthy financially. Furthermore, Semcorp is actually they actually offer a unique offer as an industrial conglomerate where there's actually very few competitors in Singapore, with only Capital Corp naming a few. And this industry has actually an undying demand as it provides the very basic needs for everyone and everything, such as waste management, water, electricity, etc. And et Furthermore, looking at the recommendations, there so far there has been healthy ratings to actually invest in uh, to invest in Samcorp Industries so the recommendation and uh, with every looking at the fundamental analysis it is actually conclusively a very suitable company to invest in thank you for your time perusing my slides and listening to my rather amateurish voice recording thank you mister